Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram. And we begin in Westchester, where we're. <laughs> Kisco. Nine people were hurt yesterday. Four of them were students at Fox Lane High School. The school says three of them are now in critical condition, and another is recovering. News for Romney Smith is at Westchester Medical Center in Valhalla with the latest. Police confirming with me on the phone that they will release more information later today on the ages and medical conditions of everyone involved and more information on exactly how this unfolded. Here's what we know right now is that yesterday a Honda Accord crashed head on into a Yorktown Central school bus in Mount Kisco. Nine people were hurt, four in the car and five on the bus. All were rushed to Westchester Medical Center though. The injuries for the driver of the car and his three passengers were initially described as life threatening. The passengers on the bus's injuries were less severe. The area of the crash is curvy. It doesn't have a shoulder and no traffic lights either. But it's not clear if that may have been a contributing factor to the unlicensed teenager losing control of the vehicle. Again, that 16 year old did not have a license and here's why that matters. Because if that teenager had a permit and there was an adult in the car, that means they would have been able to drive. However, if there was no adult in the car, that teenager never should have been behind the wheel with so many others in that vehicle. Reporting from Westchester, Romney Smith, News 4 New York. Romney, thank you. Now, a man arrested for a murder 20 years ago is now out of jail. Edward Hawley was arrested last week for the 2003 killing of his ex-girlfriend, Megan McDonald, in Wallkill, New York. The Orange County District Attorney had until yesterday to present the case to a grand jury, but did not do so. They now say that a special prosecutor will take over. The DA was noticeably absent last week when state police announced Hawley's arrest and a possible motive. The family of Megan McDonald released a statement calling Holly's release temporary. They went on to say, quote, after patiently waiting for over 20 years, we are confident police have arrested the right person, Edward Holly. Now here in the city, the NYPD has arrested the man that they say is behind a violent bank robbery. He's 54 year old Gerald DeRoss. Law enforcement sources say he is a career criminal and was just paroled in March for a bank robbery. It was April 7th when we showed you this video of a man grabbing an 81 year old woman and putting her in a chokehold while he demanded money from a bank in Glendale. The woman is doing OK now, but that man did take off with the cash. Law enforcement sources say he was arrested back in 1993 for robbing this same bank. A dozen New Yorkers who have disabilities are filing a federal lawsuit against the city over its open streets program. The group claims that the program violates the Americans with Disabilities Act by closing off streets to car traffic and some need cars to get around. Open streets began during the pandemic to provide more open space. The Department of Transportation hasn't commented on the lawsuit. All right, there could be something missing from your future bus rides. The MTA is considering replacing the side mirrors on its buses with cameras that can show drivers exactly what's happening on both sides of the vehicle. MTA officials say that the current bulky mirrors account for 25% of all bus accidents each year because they can easily hit street poles, outdoor dining sheds, and even other vehicles. Time for a check of the weather picture. Outside, we have clouds in the city, but elsewhere, as you just saw from our live reports, there is rain throughout the region. Let's go through the details right now. This is what we're looking at. We do have some scattered showers up to the north in Westchester County. Those are going to be able to push on through, and it'll give way to drier conditions, but spot showers are not out of the question as we head through the afternoon, as you can see on the maps. As we head into Friday morning, temperatures are going to be on the cool side as we start the day. Plenty of cloud cover. I think most of the day we are dry, but as we head towards the end of the day, that's when we see the rain beginning to push on through. That'll continue. That takes us through Saturday, Sunday, a chance of showers on Monday, and we are going to wind up with a significant amount of rain before it's all done. How much, you ask? Between two and three inches of rain over the next seven days, more than making up for our rainfall deficit. This is a look at your 10 day forecast and as you can see scattered showers and clouds and then we'll finally return to some warmer weather as we head towards the end portion of next week back into the upper 60s and 70s. Kay? All right thanks for that Dave. Well that's what you need to know. I'm Kay Engel.